So we're going to do problem 713, and this is suppose we have 2,300 deposited at 5.7% compounded semi-annually. And let's, uh, how long will it take for your balance to increase to this amount? So we have a few of these we want to account for. All right, so first of all, let's see the word compounded. So that means something very specific here, compound interest. Okay, so we are not using uh, one of these first two right here. So let's go ahead, there's three formulas we're gonna need to figure out, is it that formula, that formula, or that formula? And what are we trying to find about how long? Well, it says about long, about how long. So we wanna know uh, how much time. Now time here is measured in the variable n, which is the number of compounding periods. So we want the one that's already solved for n. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and write this one down. So we have n equals log pn over p0, p is the principal amount, and we got k times log 1 plus r over k. And so now we're going to just figure out what values go where. So I've already got a lot of things underlined. Let's go ahead and diagram these out. So we have this 2300. So that's our initial deposit. So it's initial amount. So that means it's our principal amount at the zero uh, month. Well, the zero, this is semi-annually. So after zero semi-annuals, which is after zero half years. So our initial amount is 2,300. All right, this 5.7%. There should only be 1% in each of these problems and that percent is the interest rate. So that's always gonna equal R. Now just make sure you go 0 0.057. You're gonna see a lot of people, including myself, not like to write the initial zero. And if that's how you like to do it, just make sure your decimal point's super obvious. All right, semi-annually, let's go ahead with that. That is how many times per year? So that's times per year, that'll be N. Uh, nope, that's not N, that will be K. So K is times per year and that's two. So I'm gonna go in with this yellow highlighter and I'm just gonna cross out all the stuff that we already got. We got P0, we got K, we have R. K appears twice, so all we need is the PN. So at the end, our last value is going to be the amount at the end, which is 4,100. All right, so once you put all those values in, you should be able to compute the end value over here.